Hello everyone and welcome to this week's video. Today I'm going to be explaining how removing weight from your car increases your acceleration. Now there's a lot of ways to remove weight but that's not what I'm going to talk about. I'm going to talk about how specifically taking out weight will increase uh, the rate at which you can uh, get to higher speeds. So we're going to take a car, a 2,500 pound car, we're going to say it produces 100 pound feet of torque across the entire RPM uh, rev line, uh, which isn't realistic, but we're just going to simplify things. We're going to say it has a 12 inch tire radius, and we're going to say that it has a 6 to 1 final gearing ratio uh, from the engine ending uh, to the wheels. Um, so that could be, for example, a 3 to 1 uh, first gear and then a 2 to 1 differential. And then you'll have a, a 6 to 1 ratio going out on the drive shaft to the wheels. So. Mr. Newton taught us long ago that force equals mass times acceleration. Now I know there's no pictures on this board today and that's kind of unfortunate, but there is plenty of colors so it's still going to be fun. Now, force equals mass times acceleration. So acceleration equals force over mass. What we want to find out is how does acceleration change as mass is reduced. So there's the variables we're going to work with. All right, step number two, let's find the torque at the wheels. Very simple, all we need to do is multiply the torque produced by the engine by the gear ratio. So we've got 100 pound-feet of torque times six, and that's gonna give us 600 pound-feet of torque going to the wheels. So let's find the force that the wheels apply to the ground. Now we know that torque is equal to force times distance. So we have 600 pound-feet of torque, as we've discovered right up here and that's going to equal force times the distance. Now the distance is going to be the distance from the center of the wheel to the bottom of the wheel, the radius of the tire. And so what that's going to give us is 12 inch radius and we want this in feet since our torque is in pound feet so we're going to divide that by 12. Now when you divide that by 12 you've just got force times one foot and then you're going to be left with a 600 pound force. Alright, so back up here, step number four we've got acceleration equals force divided by mass. We've got a 600 pound force divided by a 2500 pound mass. Now 2500 pound mass is kind of a, not really a unit, um, but we are here on uh, the outer shell of planet Earth at sea level and we can basically use this logic here. So 600 divided by 2500, uh, that's 0.24 g's, uh, a g being a unit of gravity, 32.2 feet per second squared. So 0.24 g's, 0.24 units of gravity. All right, now that we know our acceleration, let's find out how quickly we can get to 60 miles an hour. That's what all the uh, fuss is about these days, how quickly you can get to 60 miles an hour. So velocity is equal to acceleration times time. We know that we want to get to 60 miles per hour. We don't know how long we want to get there. And we know what our acceleration is. So all we need to do is divide our speed by our acceleration and we can figure out the time. Now 60 miles per hour is equivalent to about 88 feet per second. And as I discussed down here, 1g, 32.2 feet per second. So divide 88 feet per second by 0.24 times 32.2 feet per second squared. And that gives you a 0 to 60 time of an impressive 11.4 seconds probably close to what my car does it in. It's a very fast machine. Now, if we were to remove 500 pounds from this car, that would be a great thing. A challenging thing, but a great thing. So we've got 600 pounds of force divided by 2,000 pounds of mass. That gives us an acceleration of 0.3 g's. All right, so if we bring that back into this equation here, we've got 88 feet per second divided by 0.3 g's, or 0.3 times 32.2, that gives us a 0 to 60 of 9.1 seconds. So, very cool, by removing 500 pounds from the car, we increased our 0 to 60 by 2.3 seconds. So that's kind of uh, gives you a look at how, how much uh, the reality behind removing weight and why that's so important for acceleration. Hope you learned something, and uh, if you have any questions or comments, just leave them below.